Are you struggling with weak muscles, constant tiredness, extra weight, getting older too fast? These are common signs of bad body energy use that hits millions around the world, often from weak mitochondria. But imagine getting workout wins like more energy, faster fat loss, keeping and building muscle, a stronger heart, and better brain power without very intense exercise. Meet OS01, a game-changing peptide that turns on and keeps all energy switches going, boosting mitochondria, cleaning up old ones, and making more mitochondria for a complete body reset. What makes it special, unlike MOT-C, which mainly helps with stress handling and blood sugar control, SS31, which shields against cell damage, or Humanin that protects cells from dying, OS01 leads the way for enormous workout benefits directly activating all pathways involved in energy production, which is unlike every other mitochondrial peptide. Let's take a deep dive into OS01, where I'll show all my research and discoveries on this compound, and where we'll turn curiosity into mastery and mastery into breakthrough results. Before I continue, I must start off with a disclaimer that I'm not a licensed professional or a doctor. For any concerns you may have regarding your health, please seek out a licensed professional and do not consult this video. All the information in this video is purely for educational and entertainment reasons. By watching this video, you agree to my terms and to get straight into this video. So what is OS01? This is actually a brand new peptide that one of my good biohacker friends told me that I need to research because it's that amazing. This peptide acts as a master switch to your body's energy system, activating all 12 types of AMPK, which AMPK is very important for how your body controls and uses energy and as well how it optimizes your metabolism. And up until this point, I thought it was just AMPK and that was it, but there's actually 12 different forms of AMPK and OS01 activates all 12 of them, which is pretty crazy. So this peptide's being heavily studied to mimic exercise, boosting metabolism, helping increase fat burn, helping with the heart, helping with the brain, and even to cosmetics such as the skin and the hair because mitochondria, especially when they're all activated, has a truly holistic effect on the body. So how does OS01 work? Well, it works by keeping AMPK on longer by blocking the enzyme that stops it. Specifically, it stops dysphosphorylation at a point, I'm gonna read this to you, PTHR172. So by this compound stopping dephosphorylation at that point, it allows for AMPK to still stay on. And an easy way to think of AMPK is that it's the boss for all the cells that make energy. So the boss will tell you, you make energy, you don't make energy. And OS01 allows AMPK to stay on. And not only that, it activates all 12 types of AMPK. So not only is it saying stay on, it says stay on for every single pathway. And this is unique because other mitochondrial peptides don't do this. Like MOTC or SS31 or Humanin, they don't activate your AMPK pathways this direct or all the different forms of AMPK. And because it's activating the boss of your energy system, it's gonna create new mitochondria, it's gonna clean up mitochondria, so any old or bad mitochondria helps recycle them. It also helps clean up the entire cell itself. So not only is your mitochondria healthier, but also has new mitochondria, and the whole cell itself is healthier too. And additionally, it helps speed up fat burning, increase growth factor from better blood vessel growth, and additionally, it helps support muscle for longer endurance and better muscle building and recovery. And lastly, it helps recycle old cells, which I already talked about, but I wanna focus more on this because it helps reduce inflammation, it helps reduce reactive oxygen species, which is just pretty much another form of damage in the body, but it does this holistically, which is why this peptide or this compound is being researched for cosmetics too. So because OS01 activates all 12 forms of AMPK, it really helps increase mitochondria all throughout your body, which has a huge effect holistically. Now let's go into the research benefits of OS01. The first is a huge mitochondrial boost, especially in muscles, because actually muscles have the highest concentration of mitochondria, but in the studies, a 48%. That's crazy. And because it affects all 12 types of AMPK, it really has a holistic effect when it comes to the mitochondrial support. So it's gonna help with blood sugar control, better insulin resistance, burning fat, it's gonna protect the brain, it's gonna protect the kidneys, it's gonna protect the heart. And a major benefit of this peptide is that it really helps clean up cells and reduce inflammation, which really has a holistic effect. 
So not only will it help reduce internal inflammation, but this peptide is being used in skincare and hair products because mitochondria are very important for healthy skin and healthy hair. When it comes to the hair, it helps activate dead cells to have better hair health. And the thing is, one of the bigger key factors of hair loss is actually poor mitochondrial health. So pretty much since OS01 activates all the different forms of AMPK, it truly has a holistic effect of all the different ways when it comes to better mitochondrial health. So now I wanna briefly compare OS01 to the other mitochondrial peptides so you can really understand the differences and the pros and cons. First, OS01 versus MOTC. Think of OS01 as it affects pretty much everything. It's more broad and it's direct. Where MOTC really focuses more on insulin resistance, blood sugar control, and burning fat. It doesn't activate all 12 of the AMPK pathways like OS01, and it's not as direct. Where OS01 is direct and it activates all 12 of the different forms of AMPK. The second major mitochondrial peptide is SS31. SS31 shines more for protection. It really protects the membranes of mitochondria. It doesn't really activate them the way that OS01 does. So think of SS31 as the protector where OS01 protects but also ramps up everything as well and holistically too, affecting all parts of the body where it comes to mitochondria. And the last major mitochondrial peptide is humanin, which is more used on the rare side, but humanin really shines when it comes to helping clean up the cell, helping to recycle new things and making sure that cells survive. A little similar to SS31, but a little bit different. So again, OS01 affects everything and it's direct, where humanin is gonna be more at just helping to clean up more things and help with cell survival. So in summary, OS01 is broad, direct, and powerful for all the different ways that mitochondria is used throughout the body. MOTC focuses more on blood sugar control and fat burning. SS31 focuses more on protection. Humanin focuses more on survival. So pretty much as you can see, OS01 pretty much does everything that these other mitochondrial peptides do, but it's direct and it's more broad, where these other ones have little specialized benefits of OS01 that potentially can be more potent, we're still unsure. But overall, as you can see, that OS01 is more holistic and it's more direct than these other mitochondrial peptides, which is why so many researchers are getting excited over this new discovery. So now let's go into the cautions and counterindications. And to be honest, guys, this peptide's very new, so it's really hard to get all the new research out there and what's happening. But for my research, when it comes to cautions, I've seen nausea, I've seen diarrhea, I've seen stomach discomfort, I've seen trouble sleeping. And then when it comes to counterindications, from my research is pregnant individuals and anyone with active infections, which those seem to be pretty common for most peptides in general. But we're still unsure of the long-term implications because this peptide is still so new. From my research, what I've seen in the studies is 0.5 mg per kilogram. So for example, I'm about 88 kilograms, so my dosing would be around 50 mgs. But when I do research on actually the products being available, I see a lot of these things being offered in 100 milligram capsules, which that's almost double the dose that would be recommended in the research. So it's still hard to see the exact dosing, but from the research is 0.5 mgs per kilograms. And then when it comes to cycling, I've seen four to eight weeks on and four to eight weeks off. I wish guys I had more solid, you know, backbone evidence of what's happening with cycling and dosing, but there's still a lot of research needing to be done on the dosing and cycling of this, which was why I always stick towards more conservative dosing and cycling when it comes to any compound, especially new compounds. Now let's go with other peptides I would take with OS01. First would be MOTC, Humanin, or SS31, which as you learned earlier in the video, these other mitochondrial peptides almost specialize in one part of OS01. So I think together it could be amazing. So, so for example, if my main goal was mitochondrial protection, then maybe I would use SS31 with OS01. If my main goal was just insulin resistance and blood sugar control, then maybe I would just use MOTC with OS01. Another great peptide I would look into would be some kind of healing peptide. So BPC, TP500, KPV, GHKCU, because these peptides help a lot with healing, and one good thing about OS01 that it does help a lot with healing and inflammation. So together it could be very powerful. Next I would look into if my main goal was fat burning would be 5 amino one mq SLUPP332, tensofensin, AOD9604, 
all those are amazing fat burning peptides. And again, if my main goal was fat burning, combining with OS01 could be very powerful. And the last group of peptides I would look into would be some kind of GLPs, as GLPs are amazing for appetite control and weight loss. So, so again, if my main goal was weight loss, this would be great to combine with the GLPs. And additionally, one of the main side effects of GLPs is muscle wasting or losing muscle. And OS01 actually helps preserve muscle. So I think together it could be very powerful. And last group of peptides I would look into would be some kind of growth from peptides. So testosterone, ipinephrine, or CJC25 with ipinephrine. All those can be amazing. So growth hormone with more mitochondria can be very, very powerful for overall vitality and anti-aging. Now let's go into some supplements I would take with OS01. First would be some kind of NAD or glutathione, which I think those supplements can complement pretty much any peptide protocol. Next would be some kind of functional protein such as bone broth protein or collagen peptides. It's critical for building muscle, better metabolism. Next would be creatine. I'm a big fan of creatine for many benefits for helping with brain health, helping with better energy production. And last would be some kind of organ complex and herb complex. I'm a big fan of animal parts. I think organs can help heal the body and help boost the body in multiple ways and same with some kind of herbs. So it's very important to not underlook the natural stuff as organs and herbs. Now let's go into some lifestyle tools I would add to OS01. First would be the basics, which is sun, sleep, a good movement, especially corrective training is my favorite way. Next would be animal-based diet. So like think of raw milk, raw honey, some fruits, some, you know, some good meats, big fan of that. Next, as you probably know, I see a lot in this channel is HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, a big fan of that. Some kind of body work, massage, acupuncture, chiropractic. Additionally, some hot and cold therapy, so as a sauna, an ice bath. And lastly, red light therapy. And this can be used in multiple ways because red light therapy helps a lot with mitochondrial health and depending on the goal. So for example, if I was using OS01 for my hair, I would use red light therapy on my hair. If I was using OS01 just for general mitochondrial support, I would use full body red light therapy. So red light therapy is an amazing thing for mitochondrial support. What are the pros of OS01? The first pro is that it activates all 12 different types of AMPK, leading to a broad, direct, and potent activation of different mitochondria. The second pro is that it's oral, which is amazing because all other mitochondrial peptide are injectables. And the last pro, which I've already kind of said, but it has multiple benefits from helping with better energy, burning fat, building muscle, but also cosmetics, seen with the hair and the skin, which that is super cool. This is the first mitochondrial peptide that's targeting other things for mitochondrial health than just building muscle or just metabolism. So what are the major cons of OS01? The first con is that it's a new peptide or a new compound. There's still so much research we don't know what's gonna happen long-term. The second con is that it's fairly expensive compared to other peptides on the market. It's definitely more expensive and it's harder to find. So what's my overall opinion of OS01? First, I think it's fascinating that this is the first oral mitochondrial peptide that is also the most potent and the most direct when it comes to boosting mitochondria holistically. So it's so cool that we're seeing new peptides come out that are not only stronger, not only more holistically benefiting for the individual, but also easier to actually administrate and actually just oral form. So it's a very exciting to see how the field's evolving. I will say there's still a lot of research and unknown about this compound, but based off how it works and just some subjective experiences, it seems overall very positive. Personally, I would do with almost everything I say on this channel, a more conservative dose, especially for newer compounds and more potent compounds because this compound is newer and it's more potent. So I'd always do smaller amounts, shorter cycles until I feel more comfortable or until there's more research. But overall, it's very promising. I'm very excited to see the new studies of this compound and also how things will change in the next coming months and years in the peptide field. But overall, that is my video so far of OS01. Please like and subscribe. If you want to support this channel and learn more about peptides, check out my books on Amazon, Peptides Made Simple, or check out my Academy, Peptide Academy, if you want a more VIP experience on peptides. But thank you for watching, have an amazing day, and stick around for future videos.